What's up guys? Assalamualaikum, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share you tips and tricks on how I got first class degree in University of Malaya. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Nazri Nazari, mechanical engineering fresh graduate from Nusti Malaya. I graduated from Nusti Malaya officially on October 14, 2019. And before I share my tips, I want to put disclaimer that I am no way trying to brag about my result. My purpose of this video is trying to help people in need, my juniors, uh, students, and people like you guys. These tips are based on my experience. Throughout my degree, I have been practicing these tips and this my result. Without any further ado, let's hop in. Number one tips, give yourself enough time to study. Don't leave it until the last minute to study. While some students do seem to thrive on last minute cramming, it's widely accepted that this is not the best way to approach examination. To help sort out your time management, set up a proper timetable for your study. Write down how many courses you are taking and days left before the examination for you to get prepared. Then organize your study accordingly. I'm sure you may want to give some cause more study times than others so find a balance that you feel comfortable with second organize your study space make sure you have enough space to spread out your notes try and get rid of all distractions and make sure you feel as comfortable and able to focus as possible for some people this may mean almost completely in silence for others, background music helps a lot. Think about what works for you and take the time to get it right. Third tips. Use flowcharts and diagrams. Visual aids can be really helpful when revising. At the start of topic, challenge yourself to write down everything you already know about a topic and then highlight where the gaps lie. Or things that you don't know. Closer to the examination, condense all your revision notes into one page diagrams. Getting your ideas down in this brief format can then help you to quickly recall everything you need to know during the examination. Next, practice all examination questions. I believe one of the most effective ways to prepare for examination is to practice taking past year's examination questions. This helps you a lot to get used to the format of the questions. And if you time yourself, it can also be a good practice for making sure you spend the right amount of time on each question. Next tips, teach your friends or explain your answers to others. This will help you to get it clear in your head and also highlight any areas where you need to work more to understand. Next tips, organize study groups. Get together with friends for a study session. I believe you may have questions that they have the answers to and vice versa. As long as you stay focused on the topic for an agreed amount of time, this can be one of the most effective ways to challenge yourself in order to understand the topic. Finally, take regular breaks. While you may think it is best to study for as many hours as possible, this can actually be counterproductive. For example, if you were training for a marathon, you wouldn't try to run for 20 or 4 hours straight a day. Likewise, studies have shown that for long-term retention of knowledge, Taking regular breaks really helpful. I believe everyone different. So develop a study routine that works for you. If you study better in the morning, then start early before taking a break at lunchtime. 
or if you are more productive at night time take a larger break early on so you are ready to settle down come evening try not to feel guilty being out enjoy uh, doing outdoors activities watching movies go to cinema hang out and that's basically it for this week's video guys i wish you all the best and good luck in your study i hope you enjoy if you did don't forget to drop me a like down below and do subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos so that's it for me today see you next time